Hi guys, I have been wanting to do some um, video capture of walkthroughs um, while I am in thrift stores or at an estate sale or even at a flea market, but when I see other uh, resellers doing this, they're always using a GoPro, which is an amazing tool, um, but I just don't want to spend that money. Um, I don't see the need for it personally. So I was looking for something um, that I, I could purchase for my iPhone. Um, and this is actually something you can use uh, with any type of cell phone. It doesn't, that has a uh, video recording in it. So I went on Amazon and the link is in the bio, or in the description down below. And for $8.99, or that was the cost at least uh, during this taping, I found something that was a great alternative and I really wanted to share it with you. Um, when you buy it, you get, it comes with three different pieces. And probably the most important piece is the clip. Um, it's incredibly strong. And what you're going to want to do is clip it on a, I'm going to use a backpack probably, although I can, um, it's so strong I can easily put it on my handbag. I use a crossbody bag and so uh, it should clip as well. But for when I'm shopping, I usually have a lot of things I want to pick up. So a, a backpack is really good for me. Um, and the, the mechanism is very similar uh, the concept is very similar to uh, what I've seen with GoPro accessories, so I, I guess they kind of ripped them off, but whatever. Um, and then you get the the cell phone mechanism, uh, the clamp. Um, it's really strong. I'm having a hard time pulling it apart. And my phone is a iPhone. Uh, let's see if you can see it. This is kind of hard to. Um, so it is an um, an iPhone um, 10s. So it's the latest version of the iPhone, and it is the larger one, and it does fit. And I'll show you. I'll put that in there. It takes a little bit of work, and I do put it backwards when I'm recording, and I put the um, the um, video, I guess the lens in the bottom corner rather than the top. Um, but you'll have to play with that. I also have a pop socket and that would get in the way. So it fits pretty snugly. I don't feel like it's going to move around. Um, and then I take, what am I trying to do? Um, I'm going to take this off just to make it easier when I'm setting this up. Once you put this together, you really don't need to um, take it apart. So you stick it in here, you just thread it through, and you line up the hole, and it's just a, uh, a screw with a, and you just sort of screw it together, and it doesn't really take very long, and you tighten it, okay. And you will notice that this piece, which uh, holds the phone, can rotate any way. So I tend to, when, I, when I'm trying to film, so the phone goes this way, um, and I so I'm filming um, landscape. But you can also film portrait if you'd like, and YouTube has compensated for portrait recently, so that shouldn't be a problem. Um, so then you can also adjust the distance. So depending on the angle, um, you have a lot of control and you'll just have to make uh, play with it to make sure it's the distance you want and the angle you want. So this you tighten and then you put the phone in. Oops, I guess I need it this way. And you're going to tighten this little uh, screw down here and again you can have it in any whatever uh, angle you want and you know depending on making sure you want it to look as level as possible you tighten it up and then you're good to go make sure this is clipped it does seem to have uh, a nice barrier which keeps it in and I have a pretty thick case so I would be surprised uh, if your phone won't fit in it because of the distance as well as the thickness. 
and I'm going to show you what it looks like. This is a backpack I'm using, and I'm going to clip it on. And it, like I said, it's really tight, which is good, which means it's not going to slip. All right, and then when I put it on, you can adjust it in, um, because obviously maybe that looks a little strange. Uh, and you also got to put your body when, you know, it's all going to be uh, based on your body and your body shape. So you can have it go this way or what have you. And then you tighten using the screw. And let's see, let's do my camera. And you hit record and you're good to go. One thing that's really nice is if you keep it this way uh, with the... Uh, lens out and the record button inside you can basically be pretty stealthy about it because some people might get really um, concerned about being videotaped and one of the other thing is by keeping it sort of at your chest level you're not going to get a lot of faces which is, I think is really important as well um, I've seen a couple of people who do videos um, when they are asked if they are being taped or what they were doing, um, I think because the GoPro really shows up. This looks like it may just be an iPhone uh, holder, so the people might not even recognize that you're taping. Um, but if they do ask, just say, I have a YouTube video, uh, YouTube channel, and I'm, uh, people like to see me go thrifting or whatever, um, and just make it really light and airy and exciting. And if they say something, then you just go, oh, I can turn it off, whatever. But I bet, um, because of this setup, you're probably not going to get a lot of questions or you might. Um, anyways, I think this is a great, great option. You don't have to buy a GoPro. It doesn't cost very much. It's very sturdy um, for the price, and I think it should last a pretty long time. That clamp is incredibly strong. So let me know if you buy it. Let me know if you use it. And uh, again, the link is in the buy. It is in the description. Um, I got it for Amazon. Like I said, it was like $8.99. So good luck, and uh, have a great day.